friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and whether you love her or hate her, there is no denying that Taylor Swift is the most famous person in the world right now. Some days it feels like you can't escape her in the media, which has actually sparked a lot of debate, questions and interest in Taylor Swift's personal style, as her style really does change and evolve with every single era that she has. From her self-titled debut album all the way up to her 2024 Grammys appearance, this is a deep dive on Taylor Swift's style as we discuss her best and worst outfits and whether she's a fashion icon or a fashion flaw. And if you're wondering, this outfit is very much inspired by Taylor Swift. So Taylor's style evolution begins all the way back in 2006, as this was the year Taylor Swift kicked off her career with her debut single, Tim McGraw, which peaked at number six on Billboard's country chart. However, a few weeks prior to releasing her debut single, she attended the 41st Academy of Country Awards, and we got our very first of many, many Taylor Swift red carpet looks. So Taylor wore an informal halter neck dress along with cowboy boots and some very tight blonde ringlet curl. Now don't get me wrong, informal is not a bad thing. It was actually quite the style of 2006 for celebrities her age to dress pretty informal on the carpet. I mean, this is the year that Ashley Tiz wore her entire wardrobe on the red carpet. The same year that Lizzie McGuire was wearing every accessory she owned in a classic Disney style outfit on the red carpet. So compared to some of her peers, Taylor Swift was actually dressed pretty well as her outfit has really stood the test of time. When we look at this outfit, no one's like, oh God, why would she wear that? It's more like, a, oh yeah, I get that. That's very of the time. And this look of a sweet sundress, cowboy boots and tight blonde ringlets remained her uniform throughout her self-titled debut album era. And this was intentional as these outfits really helped to sell her image as a young up and coming country star. And I must my personal favorite outfit of this era is when she wore her personalized Taylor Swift cowboy boot. However, when she did dress up, she still looked absolutely stunning. As at the 2006 CMA Awards, she showed up in an all black velvet gown with matching velvet gloves. Even though this wasn't the classic like cowboy boots look for Taylor, it's still selling like girl next door image because this outfit wasn't too outlandish, wasn't high fashion or anything like that. In 2007, Taylor Swift returned to the CMT Awards where she won Breakthrough Video of the Year for Tim McGraw. And to this event, she wore a satin mermaid like gown, of course, with her tight ringlets to keep up this very like innocent image. And honestly, Taylor Swift's outfits during this era were perfect. They did the job. They helped her to sell her image, which in turn sold more records. And a lot of these outfits really stood the test of time and could honestly be reworn in 2024, which is what we're seeing at the Eras Tour. So overall, her style during this first era was actually pretty good. In 2008, Taylor Swift entered her fearless era, and this is when she really began to make waves in the country music scene. During this time, her outfits, of course, reflect her album's romantic fairy tale and princess energy. Taylor was often seen wearing ball gowns, corseted bodices, tall skirts, and was always covered in sequins. Basically, if you can imagine a princess wearing it, Taylor Swift was wearing it. An excellent example of this is the drop waist lavender dress that she wore to the 2008 Grammy. Or in her infamous music video of You Belong With Me, which I know we all sang at our school disco, Taylor is once again wearing a romantic drop waisted corseted dress. However, as this era went on, Taylor Swift actually began to swap out her cowboy boots for some sleeker riding boots and some high heels. And this was signifying her slow transition into pop music. And at the 2009 Grammys, which yes, was the year that Kanye West interrupted her, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about her style. We really started to see her style evolve, as if we look at all of her previous red carpet looks compared to this one, this outfit is definitely more mature. It's still very much in her personal style, being girly and feminine, as after all, the outfit is covered in sequins. But it doesn't give off like Disney princess fairy tale vibes like the rest of her outfits did. In 2010, Taylor Swift entered her Speak Now era after releasing her third album, and this era was all about lush aesthetics and still had like an element of fantasy. During this era, Taylor Swift's feminine and girly style remained, however, it was becoming more sophisticated, especially on the red carpet. Also, I should note that she did wear a lot of purple hues during this time, which was a nod to her album cover, where she's wearing a beautiful purple dress. And it's during this era that her curls start to not be as tight, and we begin to see her love of red lipstick, really signifying that like, she's growing up. In 2010, she attended the Grammys in a fully sequined gown, which honestly, I don't love, but in 2010, this would have been extremely stylish. Especially with those oversized earrings, she would have been the envy of prom girls everywhere. And then later on this year, Taylor Swift attended the Met Gala in a Ralph Lauren dress, and she looked absolutely stunning. However, it was later this year that we saw the biggest switch in Taylor Swift style so far, as she attended Roberto Cavalli's 40th anniversary party in a short, tight, sequin LBD with super high heels. At the time, it was almost shocking to see Taylor Swift dressed so grown up, so sexy, as she'd never worn anything like this before, but honestly, it worked so well for her, and she looked amazing. And we continue to see Taylor wear outfits like this throughout the year, such as to the Vanity Fair Oscar party where she wore a short gold mini dress. And again, I really loved Taylor's style in this era. I especially love how her style is evolving away from like the love struck teenager and more into like the grown up superstar that she's becoming. Whilst of course still maintaining her like feminine energy and love for spark. 
2012, Taylor Swift released her album Red, and of course her style changed once again to match this album. Which, by the way, I'm not saying that is a bad thing. I actually really like how her style reflects the era that she's in. I think it's pretty cool. Her style continued to change and evolve throughout this era as she well and truly left behind the princess style and began to wear more vintage outfits. And the main colors that she wore during this era were navy, blue, and of course, red. And at the 2012 Billboard Awards, Taylor Swift wore a stunning Ellie Saab dress, which was of course red. But it was so incredibly mature for Taylor Swift, and most importantly, up until this point, she'd really been known for her curls. But this was the first time that she stepped out with all straight hair, really signifying that she had indeed grown up. We also saw Taylor Swift take her first ever fashion risk at the 2012 VMA when she wore a white pants suit. Now granted, this isn't a major fashion risk, but we didn't get a lot of fashion risks from Taylor Swift at this time, so this is a big deal. I loved this outfit and I really wish that we saw some more fashion risks like this throughout this era, as it was still very much on brand for Taylor Swift with the clean lines, sleek aesthetic, red lips, but it just fed us fashion girlies that little bit extra. And during this era, Taylor Swift released her song 22, where we saw more vintage outfits in both the music video and when Taylor was performing. From the bowler hat to the red sunny, to really high-waisted pants and a pair of flats. Her style during this time is vintage on stage and then like really mature and sexy on the carpet. I don't love these vintage outfits. I honestly think that they look a bit costumey. However, they're intended to be because she only ever wore these in music videos and on stage. But meanwhile, off stage, Taylor was wearing absolutely gorgeous J Mandel dresses to the 2013 Grammy. Now, white dresses have always been Taylor's signature look. However, this is by far the most stylish white dress that we've seen Taylor wear. To the 2013 Billboard Award, she also wore a gorgeous mini dress, once again with sky high heels. But my favorite part of this is just how 2013 core her jewelry is because she's wearing a ring that covers multiple fingers. Taylor Swift continued to wear her uniform of sequin dresses and sky high heels throughout this era, including when she performed at the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Her style is most definitely improving throughout each era. And although I didn't love the vintage outfits on stage, her off stage looks were absolutely smashing it. I do still quietly wish that she took more fashion risk that hate beggars copy choose. And I'd say that her style is improving for a number of reasons. One, her age. Another being her rising fame, which means a new team, more people wanting to style her and help her out. And of course, a lot more designers wanting to work with her. In 2014, Taylor Swift released her fifth album, 1989. And if anyone's curious, this is my second favorite Taylor Swift album. Reputation's my fave. During this era, Taylor Swift's fame reached a whole new level, and her style really reflects that, as we finally had some real iconic outfits from Taylor. And Taylor actually also moved to Manhattan during this time, which would have also impacted her style. So Taylor kicked off this era with a very high fashion haircut, opting for a really short, sleek bob. And her uniform changed from sequin mini dresses with sky-high heels to matching crop top and skirt set. However, she kept the sky-high heels, which I love. Some of these fashion risks worked out in her favor, however, not all of them. Such as her 2014 VMAs outfit. To the VMAs, Taylor wore a printed romper with some incredibly odd heels. I love that Taylor's taking fashion risks in this era, but this just did not look good. The fit of the outfit looks off and it really just didn't suit her. However, I must say, this style of high heels are actually predicted to be the most popular heel trend of 2024. So maybe later this year, I'll be eating my words and being like, no, Taylor Swift was like ahead of the trend with those heels. But some of her fashion risks, like the 2015 ombre dress, really paid off. Another great outfit from this era was her cutout jumpsuit that she wore to the 2015 BB BMAs, and this era was Taylor Swift's best style-wise. She was finally dressing like the superstar that she is, and she looked absolutely incredible whilst remaining true to her real self and her real style, and no longer being afraid to take fashion risks. She was just looking absolutely amazing throughout this era. So in 2017, Taylor Swift released her album Reputation. And this was by far the biggest shift in Taylor's style ever. As she went from being like an American sweetheart to don't mess with me. During this time, her streetwear outfits consisted of cargo boots and big hoodies, whilst all of her performance and red carpet outfits were black. But of course, sparkly. I mean, it is Taylor Swift. At the 2018 Music Awards, Taylor Swift looked absolutely amazing and so fashion forward when she wore a Balmain dress along with some matte, or is it Balmain? I don't know. I'm Aussie. We say Balmain here. So I'm going to say Balmain, but it might be Balmain. And she also wore some matching Balmain or Balmain boots. And she just looks so incredibly stylish and edgy in this outfit. She also wore a sheer Versace ground throughout this reputation era where she looked absolutely incredible. However, this era was extremely short-lived. We didn't get to fully experience Taylor Swift's edgy revenge era outfits, which I think is really disappointing. It just feels like wasted potential here, style-wise. Like, imagine if Taylor Swift had stepped out in an outfit similar to Dua Lipa's black Versace dress, or if she'd stepped out in, like, something all leather. I just think the opportunities were really missed with this era. However, honestly, I probably shouldn't be too picky as in 2019, Taylor Swift's style really went downhill when she entered her lover era. Now, Swifties, don't come for me. I am not a Taylor Swift hater. If anything, I'm on her side. I know she's not a fashion girly and that she's never claimed to be. However, she would have a massive team behind her of stylists, fashion designers, and I think that they've really let her down in her lover era. So the vibe throughout this era was flowy dresses and pastels. And some of these looks were absolutely gorgeous, such as the 2019 Billboards Awards, when she wore a beautiful, sparkly one-piece outfit in pastel colors looked absolutely amazing. And we can't forget about her stunning purple mini dress that she wore in 2019 to the Billboard Music Awards. As this outfit just 
just like personified everything that Lover was about. But unfortunately, I cannot forgive Taylor Swift's team for the incredibly tacky Rosa Bloom romper that they put her in at the 2019 iHeartRadio Awards. Nor can I forgive them for her street star yellow denim shorts with a tie-dye jacket and then a tie-dye shirt underneath. I just, what is, what is going on here? You have one of the most famous celebrity in the world dressing up like this. And don't come for me and say like, oh, she didn't know she was going to be papped. Taylor Swift knows when she is and isn't going to be photographed. And she definitely knew she was when she was wearing this. That's why she's wearing the Lover's Colors. And the Jay Mandel dress that she wore to the Times 100 Gala. I mean, what? What is this? This is Taylor Swift. She is dressing like a teenager going to prom. And the Lovers era just unfortunately had so many flops, which is so incredibly disappointing. After how fashion forward Taylor had become in previous years. So in 2020, when we were all in lockdown, Taylor Swift released two albums five months apart, Folklore and Evermore. Both albums had a very similar aesthetic, which was very fitting for the time period, as it was all about being cozy, wearing big sweaters, lots of velvet and flannels, and of course, a braid. In her Evermore cover, Taylor Swift was wearing Stella McCartney, and I absolutely loved this outfit. It was so perfect for the time, like we're all stuck at home being cozy, and this was just an absolutely perfect outfit. Now, since this was lockdown, we unfortunately didn't get many looks from Taylor Swift. However, the one that we did was thankfully iconic, as she attended the 2020 21 Grammys in an amazing Oscar de la Renta dress that was covered in flowers. Not only did this perfectly encapsulate her folklore and Evermore era, but it was so, so, so incredibly stylish and fashion forward and just everything we need from Taylor Swift's outfit. And especially after all those fails from the Lovers era, we really needed this. So Taylor Swift's most recent era, Midnight's, began in 2022 when she released her Midnight's album. This era was all about sparkles and shimmer and had a little bit of a 70s aesthetic to it. So Taylor kicked off this era by once again working with Oscar de la Renta, this time at the VMAs, to wear a stunning outfit where she wore a dress that was covered in crystals and some matching heels. This is one of Taylor's best looks of all time and I honestly really hope that in the future we see Taylor Swift and Oscar de la Renta work together some more as whenever they work together, the outfits are amazing. To the MTV VMAs, Taylor wore a black bodysuit with a gorgeous bejeweled skirt that was perfect for the Midnight's era. And to the 2023 Grammys, she once again wore her uniform of a two-piece outfit. However, this time it was baby blue and covered in sparkles. And her style during this time was at an all-time high. And we were finally getting to see these one-of-a-kind looks that Taylor Swift deserves to wear. However, the 2024 Grammys happened earlier this year, where Taylor Swift wore a Schiaparelli dress and she received a lot of backlash online. Now, I actually think that the dress itself is perfect for Taylor. She's known for wearing white dresses that change and evolve with her style over time. And this dress was sleek, modern, and sexy, just like Taylor Swift. Swift, and it was also incredibly stylish. However, the accessories is where this fell short. The heels did not work. Taylor really needed like some sky high heels like she used to wear or maybe even a pair of platforms. The chains were doing nothing for her and the gloves just distracted for the from the dress. And that hair, her hair did not look like it had been done. And this outfit had such potential to look good, but it just fell short, which was extremely disappointing. And again, this isn't to Taylor herself. She's never claimed to be a fashion girly, but she has some of the best people in the world working for her and they let her walk out in that. I just don't think that they are putting her in the best outfits possible, which they should be. I mean, it's quite literally their job. However, Taylor has recently announced her new album, The Tortured Poets Department, which of course means a new era and new outfits, which I am really excited to see. But I really think that Taylor Swift's style has come a long way and she is finally becoming a fashion forward girly that she deserves to be. And I really hope that in this upcoming era, we're going to see some more one of a kind outfits and that we never have a repeat of the lovers era ever again. And that is my deep dive on Taylor Swift. I am so sorry if I'm like a sweaty mess in this video. It is actually like four 47 degrees in this room right now, which is insane. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be styled by me, I have my very own styling business. I'll have the link to purchase down below. It's really affordable and you can receive one to two outfits from me. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every single week, sometimes twice a week. And be sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. I love you guys so, so much and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.